Hey guys, so today we're doing a little experiment involving a 100 watt which actually uses 72 watt light bulb and polymorph. Now I've already done the work in boiling down or melting the polymorph and uh, putting it around the light bulb. So we're going to see what happens after we plug this in for an extended period of time. Let's go. Okay, so we have the light bulb plugged in. And what do you think is going to happen? And we're going to keep track of uh, the, the amount of time it takes for maybe this to melt or you know what have you. I, I really doubt it'll explode or anything but I've been wrong before so let's see what happens. We're about a minute in and still nothing right now we are at 107.4 degrees this polymorph material has a melting point of 140 degrees Fahrenheit now we're about two minutes in and I do have some safety goggles just in case about three minutes in check the temperature 116 degrees and don't try this at home as I am an untrained professional man it's hard to stare at that <laughs> I'm going a little blind so hopefully if I do go blind it'll be for a good cause whatever that may be I don't know how much that changes the intensity of the ball but it the rough on the eyes. Four minutes in. Five minutes in, I'm going to do another temperature check. <laughs> We're at 126 degrees. And I see the top of it starting to get more clear. That indicates that it's starting to, to melt. So it won't be long. You can really see the the top of it getting clear. I don't think you can see that on here. Six minutes in, and I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and get an up close look. I still don't know if you can see anything because I'm about blind. But there it is, up close. If you look back here, it's starting to melt. Back on the tripod. We are eight minutes in, and it's really starting to melt. Incredible. 130. 133. You can really see it starting to change shape. It looks like I don't know how far it's going to stretch down. That is just amazing. It's so weird to see that. <laughs> I still can't see very well. Look at it. We are exactly 10 minutes in 10 minutes <laughs> starting to drop <laughs> and it's gonna fall I'm not filming with a potato trust me look look oh it's going down 
Oh, and it's on the floor. Oh, look here. A whole lot more. Wow. It is just <laughs> oozing now. All the way down to the floor. That is insane. <laughs> Most of it's coming off now. Here it is on the floor. Wow. Pretty cool. I mean, really, it did what I thought it would do. You can just see. Just stringing down all the way to the floor. Wow. And look, the bulb is at 224. Almost 225. 14 minutes in. Almost all of it's off of there. I, I don't think I don't think the entire amount of the polymorph will come off. It's definitely beyond, way beyond its melting point. So. Okay, well here's the mess on the floor after about 15 or so minutes. <laughs> it's all stringy. There's how it looks now. Okay, here's the bulb. As you can see, it left some on here. Now, the temperature of this, uh, of the rest of this polymorph, was 140 something, so a little bit above its boiling point, which I'm sure the bulb is much hotter underneath. And I know this is too hot for me to grab right here, but there it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, did you think it was going to do what it did or what did you think? Um, hey, if you like it, subscribe for more. Thanks for stopping by the Matt V channel. We'll see you next time.